everyone, welcome aboard the Yarra Empress. My name is Steve, I'll be your captain for this trip, assisted by some drinks and snacks for purchase as well. Just a reminder, as we get underway, if we have an emergency on board, please follow my instructions. Emergency exits to the front, left and right. That'll be the mission regarding this significant and fascinating culture. We recommend visiting the Corey Heritage Trust and Museum at Federation Square. <laughs> On this journey down the river, we will briefly talk about the past and present sites. On the right, we have the striking Flinders Street Station, a French Renaissance-style building that was completed in 1910 and is another iconic Melbourne landmark. It features a prominent dome, arched entrances, and is one of the city's most recognisable and photographed landmarks. Another great feature of the station train departed Flinders Street Station to Railway Pier, renamed Station Pier in Sandwich, which was also renamed Port Melbourne. The ten movie art sculptures on the bridge are a representation actually separated the salt water from the sea and the fresh water flowing down from the hills. In 1883, the regular and significant flooding events that plagued Melbourne. Downstream from the Harrow Falls is where the port of Melbourne's rich and significant maritime heritage begins. For 95 years, ships sailed up to the falls. Along the riverbanks, wharfs for shipping were built, and a significant maritime industry and port flourished, becoming a central trade. crossing point between their lands. The river was referred to as Uruguay, meaning River of Mist. In June of 1835, an explorer, entrepreneur and grazier named John Batman, leading a small expedition party from Tasmania, sailed into Port Phillip on the schooner Rebecca and discovered the Yarra Falls. On the other side of the falls, he discovered the water on your foot. Exploring the lands of the north, 
He found rich, fertile soil. Whoa, I think I'm showing my hat. Purchase of thousands of hectares of land in exchange for tools, blankets, and food. When John Batman returned with others in August, to a surprise, he found another explorer, John Pasco Faulkner, and others already living on the land. The parties argued for years and became bitter rivals as to who first founded and settled the land. Despite all the serious conflicts and concerns of all community members, somehow cool heads prevailed and no one was seriously hurt. After hearing news of this growing settlement, the New South... Woodside is typical of thousands of smaller iron barks built in the last days of sail. From 1835 to 1903, this three-mast, square-rigged sailing ship survived 16 trips around the treacherous seas of Cape Horn. Eventually she was abandoned and left to rot along the wharves, until in 1968, the National Trust of Australia made a foresight to acquire... Like you. 